telling people do what you love, do what you love, do what you love. People got really, really like, you know, stop talking about it. I said, no, till I see you doing what you love, I will not stop. So this is one of the pictures I found. So if you imagine this guy, we just trying to hold the structure up and, you know, holding it together. So do what you love no matter what is the other thing that I want to share and also tell you more about it. But before I get there, I actually want to share something that uh, Einstein once said, just to set the context here. He once said, everyone is a genius, but if you judge a fish on its ability to climb a tree, it will live its whole life believing that it is stupid. The challenge is that in India we have so much immense talent, and I'm sure around the world as well, but I'm trying to focus this conversation from an Indian <coughs> point of view because I feel really passionate about it. And I'm sure a lot of young people do connect to it. When we are young, we are told what to do. We are not asked what you want to do. We see it every day. Some of us were fortunate to be in ISEC, so we chose to go slightly not on the mainstream direction if we had the courage to do it. But that's what Einstein said. This is just some basic research. 70% of the US workers are disengaged at work. So they do a lot of studies, McKinsey's of the world, all of them keep on trying to figure out what's going on. Like what's wrong when we have so much manpower, so many people, so many Indians working there and you know, vice versa. What is happening with people these days? Why are people not productive? Why are they not able to contribute as much? Why are they not happy as much? So just some numbers, seven out of every 10 US workers aren't working to their fullest potential. And the numbers go even worse when we talk about their happiness levels, because obviously no one has figured out how do you measure happiness in the first place, but we can try. And that's, that's what we are here to do. Coming back to the Indian context, unemployability is a bigger problem today than unemployment. Very few people talk about it in India. When you hear the global news, the people are talking about anti-corruption movement, rape cases, so many other things, and it's on and on and on, and it's all negative news. A lot of these things we hear on a day-to-day -day basis are absolutely negative news, but what no one talks about is the solution of it. So why are people unemployable? And what is going on? More than 50 lakh students graduate per year in the country, and very few of them are unemployable. So what is the root of this problem? More than 50% of the Indian graduates lack basic employability skills. And these are just Indian statistics. If we go around other countries, I'm sure you will relate to those as well. That's what I did. So I realized these things while doing my journey in ISEC. I figured out what I love doing, and I was fortunate for that. I realized that I love public speaking. And I was a guy who in school life, my knees would shake if I was stood in front of more than one person at a stage fright. I said, this is what I want to do, and this is what I want to do really, really well. So I started public speaking started doing different conferences, speaking there. Then I, the second thing I realized I love doing is interviewing. And then I did a thousand interviews in my first couple of jobs. I was an HR manager in the first one, and the second as a recruiter. So that's how it grew. And then the idea finally is all here. If I'm great at doing something, I would get paid for it, I love it, and the world needs it. That's my moral responsibility towards the world as a responsible person. I spoke more, I went to engineering colleges, did a lot of these seminars, what we say, but essentially what I was trying to create and what I still do is create communities and spaces for people to figure out what they love doing. The result of that is here. Now we go around colleges and schools. That's the one bottom there you see is two days before I was in a government school. The one on top is Vellum High School, which is in one of the best boarding schools in India. Everywhere people are gearing up for it. It's becoming a movement because that's the mission of my life and the people who work with me. Created a Young India Challenge is something that gets all the people who believe in this idea together. So they believe that by doing what they love, they will change the world. And I'll just give you some quick examples. So Priya and my team, she's a BCom honor student, people in India who, like Mike was talking about, you need to get a 90, 95% to get into a big, you know, good college. She does. Her study, she has also started making infographic series for people. Saksham there, he studies engineering, doesn't like it. He started a videography company. Ishani there has dropped the CA now, does content writing course. And then we have two individuals who attended Young India Challenge who started a school under a flyover in Delhi. And they wrote to us a thank you mail saying, thank you so much for inspiring me to do this. Because I thought I was going to just get into the corporate rat race. 
before that happened to me. That's the team that met. We had a Young India Challenge reunion a couple of weeks before. People go crazy. They're like, if I know this today as an 18-year-old or a 20-year-old, I want the whole world to know about this. I want the whole world to talk about it. Why are people not doing what they love? So make things happen. Be a part of the solution and not the problem. But when you make things happen, I'll tell you quick stories. That's my talent management team when I was finishing ISIC. That's ISIC in Lucknow. I was speaking there. All these four teams here had survival crisis. They were almost on the verge of shutting down. They were losing identity. All of them chose to fight it out. A group of people who come together for a common cause can change the world. If they can, I can, you can, all of us together can. First Young India Challenge in IIT Delhi, we were told by a professor of physics that you're not allowed to conduct the seminar because I'm here to teach and doesn't matter what your document says, you will need to go out. We went out, we still continued the seminar in the lawns of IIT Delhi. A lot of people came and asked us, what are you doing? Yeah, we are doing a conference in the lawn. Yeah? Three hours went that way, finally we convinced the professor to give us the room. Dream, hope, belief comes from action. Not by talking, not by inspiring, not by things. That leads to achievement. That gives a sense of community and purpose to people. That I'm not the only one. If you ask people in general today, will you do what you love? You know, they're scared, and that's valid. But when I get a feeling that I'm not the only one, I can be more confident about following my passion. The movement has grown. We have not really counted it. Rough estimates, a few lakh people know about it, have engaged with us. Our next target is the first million program, and we are moving faster and wider towards it. And I invite all of you to be a part of it, because all the speakers who came here today, is one thing I found in common, they do what they love. And they truly deserve your big round of applause for following their passion and making a difference in their lives. So can we have a big round of applause for the speakers who have come before? They are one of these people I'm talking about. They, that's how they're changing the world. And I'll finish with this quote. The only way to do great work is to love what you do. If you haven't found it yet, keep looking. Don't settle. Thank you so much.